Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series. In today's episode, I'm going to show you a cool little utility trick. We all know that when you have to create an item stack with a name, you first have to create the item stack, then you have to create the item meta, set the display name, and then set the item meta of the item stack towards the item meta you've just created. But there is a much simpler way. It requires some setting up in your plugin, but it will make life much easier. So what we are going to do is we are going to create inside of the main package or inside of another package, you're going to create a new class. And I'm going to call this class item stack util because I'm going to make a utility for an item stack. And what this item stack utility is going to be is I'm going to kind of create a new way to create item stacks and it will become clearer when we start doing it. So what we are going to do is we are first going to do, uh, we are going to create an interface item stack util and what I want to do is I want to do a material, so material, material. And what I want to do is I want to create a new item stack with that material. So over here on top of this, we are going to make a public item stack item. And then we are going to set item inside of the constructor equal to a new item stack with the material material. So once we're here, so if we create a new instance of this class, we are going to create a new material with it. Okay, well, there's a couple of things, of course, you can do with item stacks. Uh, for example, you can do public uh, item stack util because you want to return the same class so that you can kind of chain the uh, methods you're trying to create to uh, easily create a new item stack. So item stack util set amount. And then what we are going to do is of course, give it an integer amount. And then we are going to do item.set amount amount. And we are going to return this. So we are going to return the class it was called on so that we can eventually or maybe even call another method. Because what we also can do, as I talked about in the beginning, uh, setting the custom name is not really a one line task. So we're going to create a method for that as well. Public item stack util set name or set custom name, set display name, and then of course the string name. And what we are going to need to do is we are going to create a new item meta. Meta equals the current item we have in this class. So get item meta. And then what we are going to do is meta dot set display name. And I also always like to do check color translate alternate color codes. Then we are going to know it was the wrong one because it now imported the net, the uh, wrong thing up above. We need to do the org the bucket. So we are going to do that again. Set display name, check color dot translate alternate color codes. And as you can see, now it's the org the bucket one. And then we are going to choose this character as the alt color char and of course the name as the text to translate and last thing we need to do is set item meta towards meta and of course return this that's what you always need to do because it then will return the whole class okay well i could go on and create a couple of other methods but uh yeah you can figure them out yourself it's just the same with this uh think of something like uh, maybe enchantments that you can add to item stacks create a method for it, and then uh, just use it. Okay, so the last thing you want to do, because if you're finished, you want it to return the item stack because you're going to use the item stack to give it to the player on, uh, on the join event, which we are going to do or whatever you think of. So we are going to do a public item stack this time. So it's going to return an item stack. Now we're just going to call it build item. No parameters because we're just going to return the item stack we have created inside of the class. As you can see, return item. And this is a cool little utility because if we now go back to the main class, and I've already registered the events, don't forget the event handler, player join event E, uh, then we can do, so we can give the item, so we're going to create a new item stack, just call it reward to the player. So instead of doing 
new item stack with material we're going to do new item stack stack util and then of course we are going to pass a material over here material though uh, let's do a diamond sword for example and then what we are going to do you can now do is because you've created these methods set amount set name okay amount doesn't really apply to a diamond sword but you get the thing so we're going to do set name and then the name is just going to be like a color code with sort over here and then of course we need to build the item and that's our reward item so that's just one line thing little setup for the item stack but it yeah it makes your code much more beautiful of course it's just one line and we've created an item stack item meta and the display name has been set of course we just need to give it to the players either get player dot get inventory dot add item reward and of course this does not only apply to item stack it applies to all kinds of things that you can think of it's just a cool utility trick do whatever you want with it i think i think it's cool so let's go and check this out on the server see you over there we're inside minecraft now i've started up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created and as you can see it gave us the sword with the red color because that's the color code for C. That's red. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comment section or in the description box, you can find a link to the Discord channel, which you can ask your questions, or you can just join the general chat and chat along with all the other people that are there. Hope to see you over there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. But...